Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Miranda, a librarian in Tarver Library. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mercer Library resources to find sources for Dr. Morgan's INT 201 research assignment. Um, today I'm going to plan on covering how to use the discovery search feature, which is the main search on the library's website, in addition to the library database CQ Researcher. Uh, but first, I want to show you all where you can get help from a librarian um, after, after this session. So I'm going to click on the Ask the Librarian link here on the library's homepage. Here you can chat with a librarian if you need assistance finding sources for your uh, research papers, um, citing your sources, uh, developing topics, things like that. So you can chat, you can also email library underscore reference. Um, you can also consult a research specialist, which is myself. Again, my name is Stephanie Miranda. And here's my picture and my contact info. You can email me. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage of the library. And today I wanna to talk to you about discovery search. First, I'm gonna click on the advanced search. Then, before I do anything else conducting a search, I'm going to sign in here on the top right-hand corner of the page. And I'm going to sign in using my MUID and password. Now, Discovery searches many different things at once. So it is searching books, articles, meaning scholarly and peer-reviewed articles, in addition to popular articles, newspapers, um, video, those types of things. So it's searching everything at once, and I think it's a really good place to get started for your research assignment because your topics are very interdisciplinary, and this covers, discovery covers a very wide range of subjects and topics. So, I'm going to just conduct a search for mass incarceration, mass incarceration and poverty. And just click search. So if you notice, I am not typing out my research question how mass incarceration affects poverty levels in the United States on one line. I am breaking it up into keywords. Um, connected with the Boolean operator and. So and will connect your search terms. So I'm just doing a pretty basic search here of mass incarceration and poverty. And I'm getting 31,198 results. And like I said before, this is gonna return all different types of resources such as books, like it's coming up here, in addition to articles. Um, these first ones that are popping up are ebooks. So they're available online. I'll, I would click here to get access to the full text. And if you do know you want a physical book, you can limit by library even. So it looks like Tarver Library has two books with um, these search terms that I typed in. You can click here and see it is available at Tarver Library on the third floor. So I did just want to point those out to you um, so you know how to find books in the library, but really the main thing you're going to want here in the Discovery Database are peer-reviewed journal articles. So I'm going to get rid of my filter for books and here under availability you can click on peer-reviewed journals. Now I am limited down to 7,000 or so results, which is quite a bit less than what we were um, dealing with before. So just to point out a few things, let's see here. I'll click on this article, just for example. You'll see here it has this little peer reviewed button here that gives you an indication that um, the article is peer reviewed. You can then scroll down and read the description, which is um, oftentimes just the abstract of the article itself. And then to actually get the full text of this article, I will want to see 
under online access, full text availability. This one in particular has a lot of different databases to pick from. I'm just going to choose the first one. And here I will see the full text of this article and, you know, making sure, ensuring that this is a scholarly source. Um, I can see that it has an abstract introduction um, and I'll scroll down to the very end. Another great indicator that something is a scholarly source is a long list of references. So take note of that. This looks like it would be a pretty good article for the topic of mass incarceration and poverty. I'm going to X out of here. Um, and I do want to point out just a few features of the database itself. So I clicked on online access here, went to my full text. But if I wanted to save this article, you're going to see this push pin in a lot of places across Discovery. If I click on add this item, I can go up here to my favorites tab and that'll be under my save records now because I made sure I signed in with my MUID and password. Um, first thing, I can now have access to a saved list here. And you can see other articles that I have saved um, as I have been utilizing this save feature. I'll go back here for one moment and also point out in addition to saving articles or saving records, you can save your searches. So if I click on Save Query, dismiss this, go back up to my favorites, and then click under Saved Searches. Here, I'll have my saved searches. So as you guys are building your searches, you may encounter some um, keyword searches work better than others. You can save those searches when you build, um, build good searches. Now this tab, search history, this will only be live for this session that I am logged in. After I log out, my session times out, my search history will disappear, but my saved searches and my saved records will stay in my account. So I will go back to, let me click back and back one more time, uh, go back to my um, results list. Um, again, I'll click on this and here you can see there is a red button here where I could remove the item from being saved. Now to point out a couple more features in addition to the push pin, um, there's this wonderful citation feature here. And there you go. Now I will say this is not a perfect, um, a perfect way to create your citations as I am seeing some actual errors here in this citation. Um, with APA style, um, the title of the article needs to be in lowercase with the exception of the first letter of the first word, um, any proper nouns, and the first letter of the first word following a colon. Now this is obviously a great place to get started and I encourage you to use this as a tool in your research process, but don't just copy and paste and assume everything is correct. Um, you also have the option to email things to yourself that you find that um, work for you if you do not want to use this save feature up here. Um, you can also create permalinks. So a permalink is a kind of what it sounds like, a permanent link that will take you directly back to this page. So if I copy and pasted, um, copy the permalink to my clipboard, copy and paste this link here, this link will be able to work and take you back to this page at all times. Unlike if I tried to copy and paste the URL up top, or if I tried to bookmark this or favorite it, um, this link up top will break. So please utilize the permalink that will prompt you to log in with your MUID and password so that you do have the full access to, um, to the research that you need as Mercer students. So those are just some of the highlights of the features that I think um, will be useful to you. So talking more a little bit about Boolean operators, 
building your keyword search terms. Now, if I want to limit my search a little bit more, I can add the field, add, add a new line, and in this field, I might add race as a search term. And I'll search here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and limit to peer reviewed journals. And we are getting a little bit less search results by, um, by adding that one extra term. So being aware of what you are particularly interested in and adding search terms to both narrow and broaden your search. It's called research for a reason. You search and then you research and then you search again. So don't be frustrated if your first, um, if your first search doesn't return the best results. Keep adding keywords and looking at articles um, using the words that articles themselves are talking about. So if you find a really good article, look at some of the words they're using to talk about particular issues and you can add those to to your um, to your search here in discovery. Um, I will point out another way you can further limit a search under this um, any field tab, any field tab here. Sometimes you can limit your search term to the title. Sometimes that helps really narrow down your results. So this would be mass incarceration needing to be in my title. So as I'm seeing here, mass incarceration is showing up in my title. So um, that can help when you have a very specific, um, very specific word or very specific term that you need the article to mainly be about. Um, I don't recommend doing this right off the bat with your searches. See your results, and then if things are not specific enough, try these different um, different techniques. Um, I'm going to actually show you guys one more um, limiter that I think is very useful is the creation date. So maybe you just want stuff within the last um, 10 years, so 2010 and refine. So this will narrow down your results even further. So being aware of um, key dates when major things happened regarding your topic, it might be important to limit your date. Um, limit your date creation in that way to get you um, more relevant results. So um, that, are, that is the basics of how to search in discovery using your keywords and building your search way. Now, moving on to show you um, the other database that I was talking about, which is CQ Researcher. So I'm back here at the library's homepage, and I'm going to click on this databases tab. And then I'm going to click on C and scroll down to CQ Researcher and click here. Now, this database is not the best place to go to find scholarly resources, but it is a good place to go to get information on various topics. Um, for example, I will do a search for uh, education, education funding. And I'll go back here, sorry. And here is something that looks good. So as you can see, there is an introduction here to this topic. This one looks pretty long. An introduction to the topic, but then there's these features over here on the side. One that I really like are the pro-con features. So you're going to get two different perspectives on this particular topic of um, education funding this one specifically talking about our teachers underpaid. Um, there's also a chronology. So this will point out major things that have happened on this particular topic all the way until um, when this particular entry was posted. There's maps and graphs. And looking here, you can see um, a lot of this data here that could be very relevant to you. 
Um, and I would encourage you, you can definitely use this data um, and just make sure you cite it. Cite it here. Um, so I did a keyword search, but you could also browse topics um, using this tab up here. If you're not 100% sure or you're still developing your topic a little bit, you can browse topics. Um, I'll just click on human rights and then, of course, go to domestic issues for this class. All right, now I'm seeing some pretty interesting things, but I'm also seeing this little um, red icon here that says short report. I will click on this first short report. So short reports are only the introduction to topics, which still might be very useful to you, but don't think um, you're missing out on something or you're crazy if you do not see the, um, the features over on the side that I showed you earlier. Short reports only have the introduction um, to the topics. So I'm going to go back and look at some of these other ones that don't have the short report here. So uh, I'm going to click on for-profit prisons here. Now, again, this looks very similar to what I showed you earlier, um, has the introduction here, the pro-con features here, which can be very useful in developing your arguments and seeing both sides of social issues, um, in addition to giving you an idea of some other keywords to search. Um, so, for example, if you were interested in um, gun control, so gun control has a very, um, has a connotation to it, gun control versus uh, gun rights or Second Amendment rights. So just by using different search terms, different keywords in your searches can really get you different range of results. So being aware of the different sides of arguments can really help you make sure you're getting the breadth of research that is available out there. On, on your particular topic, okay? So that is CQ Researcher. And if you have any other questions, feel free to, um, to contact me. Again, my name is Stephanie Miranda and you can find my information on the, on the library's website under uh, research specialists or just under the regular staff directory. Um, thank you and bye-bye.